Hi guys, how's it going? Since um, you know we fucking triple um, tripled the amount of expected views with the risotto video, um, we're gonna make butter chicken. And the first thing we're gonna make is the ghee with which to cook it in. In which to cook it, ghee. <laughs> so we're gonna get some butter and we're gonna melt it. Some butter. Yeah, like quite a lot. On a low heat, we're just gonna melt it. And we're just, we're waiting. There's nothing happens here. We'll probably cut this bit. So what we're trying to do, if you see here, all of the white stuff has come out, that's the curd. And we just want the, the clear stuff. Um, so that's just, just the pure fat. The ghee is clarified butter, so we're just going to strain it into another pan to a sieve. So there's the curds. Don't want them. Chuck them away. And yeah, you're left with that beautiful, clear, clarified fat butter. We'll just put that to one side. We'll use it in a bit. All right. So we're going to make the base. Um, for the things we're going to blitz up a load of stuff, so we're going to blitz up two onions, five cloves of garlic, some ginger and some chilli and make a little paste and then we'll, we'll go from there. So you wouldn't ever put a whole <laughs> onion in a food processor because it's just really unnecessary. <laughs> Why would you do that? So garlic, there's different techniques. Most people just go for the old smash and peel. Give a good firm fucking whack. Just a good firm whack. No need to swear, George. And then it's actually really easy. Just comes right off. Bang. Right, because we're unprepared fools. We got frozen ginger. Um, so I'm just gonna struggle with it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna struggle, I'm trying to get it in there. God, it's really, it's really cold. But it's working, there you go. Frozen ginger, just grate it. Chuck a little bit of oil in to make sure it goes into a paste. Chuck a couple of dried dried chilies in as well. Probably, Probably going to be some bits stuck on the side, so just scrape them in. Oh, it's your eyes, this this stuff. Right. So we've got our gear. We're going to put it in the pan. This has been warming up, it's a nice hot pan. Not too hot, it's not gonna burn anything. Also, if you don't want to make ghee, you don't have to, you can buy it from the shop. That's all right. I'm gonna take this, get ourselves a little spatula. You don't wanna waste any of this stuff. If anyone's ever worked in a kitchen, you know. Chefs hate wastage. You get every single tiny little bit, otherwise you get yelled at. But actually, chef's not here and I can't be bothered. So I'm just going to wash it up. Yeah, give it all the shake, move it around. And we want to cook this down, season it. Cook this down for 20 minutes, half an hour. I know that sounds like a really long time, but like, first of all, what else have you got going on in your life? Also, what we want is for all of the natural sugars in the onion, in the ginger, in the garlic to gently, slowly caramelize. 
and that's what creates that really like deep, intense flavour that you know, because this is just like exactly it's better than you would get from any Indian restaurant. Um, and this is why, because they do things like this and they cook them for a really long time and it's the secret. And now, since I love eating this and I think, oh, I wish I could share this with my friends, but we're on lockdown and I don't have any friends. Um, I'll teach you how to make it and then you can make it yourselves. All right, okay. So it's been half an hour. Have a little look. It's like, it's really reduced down. It smells great, not that you guys can smell it, but it does smell great. So we kind of, you know, we can see all the sugars are kind of coating the pan. It's really nice. So we're going to add our spices. Two t three tablespoons of turmeric, one tablespoon chili powder, two tablespoons each of cumin, coriander, garam masala, and then we've got one tablespoon of fenugreek, one tablespoon of madras powder. Um, first we're going to add some tomato puree to this stuff. You know what it's like with tomato puree. I could tell you how many tablespoons this is, but what's the point? Looks like one and a half tablespoons. But just like, don't be a twat about it. Don't put too much in. Don't not put enough in. A lot of the time, again, on these stupid fucking videos, tasty, proper tasty, all that stuff, they don't leave enough time to actually start cooking the stuff. So they always just go like bang, 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 bang. And it's, just, it's stupid because that's not how you cook. So that's why I'm here to show you guys how to actually cook. So this has been, you know, you can see, again, we want to get the natural sugars out of the tomato. So I'm just going to leave that doing that whilst I show you another trick. Basically you want this sauce to be smooth. And if you can't, if you don't have passata, passata is really expensive, right? More expensive than just a tin of tomatoes. As long as you don't mind washing up a blender. Get it out. Which is already washed up once. No, we already washed it once. We're going to do it again. We've had so much fun. Do it again, but look. Okay. Probably went a bit overboard before. I was a bit hasty. Apologise. Oh my god. There we go. Just leave that. Let it all kind of sink back in. Alright, this is now, again, so you can see a load of the stuff has kind of come out, the colour's different, you know, we've reached kind of a good stage over here, so we're just going to add our spices, just all of them in one go. Stir it round, get it mixed in. So we want to be careful not to like get it super super stuck and we know there's already some residual spices here. A little tip, if you see it, you know this is, we've dried it out a lot basically, which is good. But we can loosen it up, just add a little bit of water to pull all the stuff that's sticking off the bottom. You know, give it some time and space to kind of come back together again. I probably should have put way more in. Probably go like, yeah, half a cup. We'll make like a paste. Because that's basically what we've done, right? We just made a curry paste. And remember, with the risotto, we're just gonna we're just gonna keep adding layers of flavour. So every time we put something in, we season. Do you want to cook this down like this? 
You don't have to keep staring at it like I do. I'm just, I don't even know why I'm touching it too much. I'm just getting in the way. You can just leave it. You do its thing. Just try and make sure it doesn't burn. Five minutes. What's that? Right, it's been more like ten minutes. So I'm going to chuck in, this is about that much, 300 mils of chicken stock just to get like a chickeny kind of base. Um, and you know, to add like a little extra creamier sort of dimension to it. And then we're gonna chuck the tomatoes in. So. Remember what we said last time about getting yelled at for missing stuff, leaving stuff in the blender. Do what you want, it's your house, isn't it? Alright, so we're going to mix this in. What else are we going to do, guys? What else are we going to do? We're going to season it. Salt. When I was in India, I watched this guy making a curry, and he had a big a 10 kilo bag of salt and he was making this thing in this big pot and he was just chucking handful and I was like it's time to stop now buddy time to stop he just keeps on adding this salt to like way past what I thought was an acceptable level and then when I walked past him later it was ready and I was like oh can I try I, I bought some and it was delicious um, and this is why because of the salt so, get rid of all the scrapey little bits off the side. Try to, you know, do your best. Try it. Very nice. So, we're just going to put a lid on this and let it cook for one hour. See you then. Alright, so it's been an hour. Other things are going on, please excuse. Um, so now, we're going to just put the finishing touches, so this is a very indulgent dish, so we're just going to chuck quite a lot of cream in. So it's creamy, it's buttery, it's delicious, it's a very luxurious dish, so we're also going to Chuck in whatever butter we've got left. It's like quite a, a substantial, healthy amount. Well, it's not healthy at all, actually. That's the exact opposite of what it is. Quite a substantially unhealthy amount. And we're also going to, at this stage, chuck in the chicken. And it's raw because the best way to cook chicken is to gently poach it. So we've got, you know, in about 10 minutes, this will all be cooked through. We're going to have nice little delicate pillows of delicious chicken. Make sure every time you handle chicken, you also handle your hands with soap. Water. So you should be doing this anyway, you should be really good at doing this by now. Because of COVID. COVID! <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So yeah, the butter's melting, the cream is absorbing all the stuff. And what are we going to do? We're going to season it. Because this is what we do on this show. So yeah, here we've got some pilau rice, which is going, maybe I'll show you how to do that one day. But at the moment, it's too much effort for me to tell you. Alright, so it's been about 10 minutes. Chicken's definitely cooked. All the, find the biggest piece, make sure it's cooked. And then jobs are good in, you know? Serve it with rice, naan whatever you want, or just eat it straight, you know, 
Try not to die. That's it. Bang. See you later.